Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Pyre. You return to the wagon after you and your fellow exiles overcame the Pyre Hearts and find Wolfrin waiting for you. For you there. Yep, just be the Pyre Hearts. Too easy. Well done back there, my girl. You are serving your companions well. Now then, I have something that I wish to share with you, if you've a moment. We've discussed the plan. A current probability of success, 27%. Don't know if that's risen or fallen. Of which we are all a part. I have means of measuring our progress towards the goal of it. I'd like for you to look at it first. First, let's determine where the rights may take us next. I read first twice. Look forth, I expect you shall again see several shining stars where once you saw but one. Yep, so this is... None, none of the other triumvirates have this ability to choose their, their foes, which is important because there's technically a ladder, a sports ladder in game at who's on top and who's on bottom. So you can use this opportunity, I suspect, Several shining stars, a trick of the eye, or the will of the scribes. Who can say? I too once gained this newfound vision many years ago, following my first liberation rite, and I believe only we of the Nightwings have this gift. I realize that in choosing whom the Nightwings confront in each rite, we in turn influence which triumvirate we face when it when the time comes for someone to be set free. You can read my mind, Volfred. I was going to say exactly that. The object I invite you to use contains further detail. Uh, you may use Volfred's planner. The object that shows relative standings between the nine triumvirates in the right. Whichever triumvirate carries the most favor shall confront the Nightwings for a chance at freedom to see your current progress. Has it been made obvious now that the Nightwings always fight in the final? As in the liberation, it always. Using Volfred's planner, you may assess your progress towards your ultimate goal as well as check the current standings of your adversaries. Volfred shall keep this information up to date for the remainder of your quest. You may look over it now or any time in the Black Wagon or while searching the stars. Mm -hmm, indeed. So, for example, uh, favor, triumvirates. Uh, triumvirate always, always. What's the word? The Nightwings always face in the Liberation Rite, always. We are the benchmark against which every other triumvirate is compared to. I think, was that in the Book of Rice that we've read it yet? So, you can use this really. Um, for example, I don't want to fight Udmild at all. I don't want to fight any of the Kurs. Or. Yeah, th those are basically the people who I don't want to fight in the final. Um, hold on. If we... More favor is gained and lost against the Nightwings than any other triumvirate. Yeah, if, if we lose, my god. So the idea is we want to try and fight the hard people now so that they don't actually make it to the top. Uh, but in doing so, if we lose, then we pretty much guarantee they'll be up top. Oh god, and look at the two people up top right now. Hold on. Taking far too long to see who are our... So we have Lendl, the the accusers. Pam not Tamitha, I mean. And not Jamur. What's his name again? Dalbert. Dalbert would seem like a good person to try and fight against. Because I don't, I don't want to face him off at all near the, uh, during the Lendl will be so easy though is the thing and I can get easy experience that way let's yeah let's do Jomua I mean not Jomua but Dalbert Oldheart just to try and knock him down a peg so he's not I don't face him in the liberation right so we're going to the fate again adversaries or no I hope Dalbert and Almo have been holding up seems they've both been through quite a lot he then shares with you what details he attained of your next adversaries. Dalbert Oldheart, an adversary who showed you respect and even generosity. Despite his advanced age, he's also made for a formidable opponent, he and his son. Remember how quick they were? The so-called Alma, Alma the Helpless, ever present at, at his father's aid, he was abandoned as an infant before Dalbert found him and raised him as his own. Dalbert thought, taught his son everything he knew of his cultural heritage as a descendant of one of the Alpha Chiefs throughout the the thought to be descended from Jumua Many Main himself. My god, can't read. However, his more vocal attempts to preserve old Kurt traditions in the Commonwealth often fell on deaf ears or even roused the anger of the officials. One day, he insisted on celebrating Fang Song, an old Kurt holiday in which a single pack of Kurs vanquished an entire Imperial Brigade. And Jumua's drawers and Jumua's Many Mains ran red that day. The Song of the Chief. Jesus! against the wishes of his family. His family's caution was well-founded in this case, and he was taken into custody. As for Alma, as his father was led away, he put up enough of a fight to where he wound up sharing his father's cell, and soon enough, his sentence. 
In the dad's side, their faith brought them in contact with a pack of spiritual curs residing in Jomuo Valley. In time, they became acquainted with the rites and helped to revitalize the long, struggling triumvirate known as the Fate. They have since struggled on at times, flirting with freedom, though seldom getting within striking distance. Yet, still, they long to find a way to return to their ancestral home and family. Poor Dalbert seems like a decent enough sort, same for his son. In any case, we'll see them soon enough. Let's get some rest for now. Yeah, Dalbert. You've been ahead when a good evening is too late to take flight, so you make plans to rise at dawn to continue your travels. You know, facing off against Dalbert in the Liberation Rite is actually quite tense because you get more of their story in the background. Oh, that's Volfred's planner. Nice. Um, Volfred's status is reading a book. Stuart Gilman is nearby. Pamether is sleeping off. Oh, never mind. Wasting time. Sir Gilman is in a contemplative mood. He has been rather quiet, at least more than usual, ever since his confrontation with Sir Deluge. Mm. He notices you there and slides forth in a solemn manner. This night, he knows what he shall do now when all of this is over, Master Reader. We worm knights, we, are, we all are born and raised to prove ourselves superior to all other billions of our kind. Billions. To lead our lives, however, short with glory. From the moment we shove past our wormlings brethren in the egg sacks to the very end, we are conditioned to excel to prevail at all costs. This relentless pursuit of glory, of fame, of self-worth, it leads most of this night's kind onto only only to an early doom, or in this case of so deluge, it leads to a life of falsehood, a life of low deceit, and abusing one's fellow worm knights, shirking one's responsibilities, living in constant fear. This knight cannot abide his former commander, yet pities him. There must be more to honor than to lead a life engulfed in endless conflict. Then he looks at you intently. This knight shall ever seek the honor out when all of this is ended, Master Rida. Thus he vows to you, and he is ever grateful that your guidance led him to this new awakening. But until such time, this knight is duty bound unto the night wings. This, the fulfillment of our plan and our pursuit of freedom, is to be this final quest. For what? For what awaits him afterwards is no mere quest. The honor that this knight has sought, it cannot be fully achieved through knighthood, can it? It requires something more. I trust you understand. He slithers off, his head held high, though not merely in pride. Something has changed in him. Yo, dude! Great! Um, I was thinking of playing with him the next ride anyways. Or was that a bad idea? Thank you. Uh, because... Hold on. My 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 brain is pulling a blank. Hold on, what was I? Well, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. My brain is it's pulled a blank. That's it. It's gone. Damn it! I had something important to say. It's it's not. I'm not going to forget about it anytime soon. Oh, the next right. Let. Oh, hello. <laughs> How dare you, Nightwing scum! You blasted fools, you cannot in intimidate the accusers. We shall face you soon enough in the forthcoming right, but first we have another pack of fools whom we must vanquish shortly. Until then, stay out of our way. Damn it, I almost got these guys down the bottom that just landed. You could, you could have seen them land. Uh, searching out points of interest because never know what you'll find. Jomua, Menu, Sir Knight, the Gilman. Why, brain? Why do you do this to me? <laughs> I didn't ask to forget. <laughs> I didn't ask to have a two second memories, man. Uh, oh, hey, hey, Essence. Oh wait, we've already spoken to you. Such a when Then we will lose our talents and hear now rather than words. You know this fools, however how you may attempt to find that abomination, you shall always be beneath us. I didn't realize they had different dialogue. Holy crap, hey, point of interest. Something about the strange island below you draws your attention. Best of all, your gaze from the Isle of Kalimer. A forbidden island nestled in the Deathless Tempest. It has, it has significance to the eight scribes. Kalimer is not one of the scribes. It was the, uh, the, okay, even the scribes themselves thought to avoid this place. Let us fly on. Kalimer, important character. Uh, he was the, 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 the spy master or something along those lines. Uh, the advisor to the emperor, Soliam Mur. Sol Soliam Mur. Um, the unmistakable remains of Zilvia's horse headed, which protrude from the ashen fire there below. Some have taken it to be a work of sculpture, reader. Huh. The tale of a titan felled by Saint Trieste Tithis. Uh, that is more unbelievable than the thought of some dark, daring exiles over many years carving the titan's visage out of stone. Indeed. Be that as it may, the climate and the cliffs are home to now exiled harps, such as the essence whom you faced here when you first arrived. Even, even they do not know all of the local secrets. 
all of the locale's sacred significance. So Soliam, Soliam, so Kalimer was the guy who led Soliamo into the, uh, ooh, uh, led the, the, the Emperor down into the downside. Do I want to find, do, do I want to find a talisman or do I want to level up someone? I think, I think we'll go the alternative. Your wagon touches down in Black Basin where you first met Volfrin and Pamathar as well. You briefly you wonder what might have happened and had your path not crossed as you consider what to do with the re remains of the afternoon. Nice! Oh, sparring contest. Huh? Yo! Speak to me. Why do you never have anything on your mind? I love you! Let me love you! <laughs> What's this up here? Magma mug. And something that keeps... Ooh. Nice. <laughs> Judge of the sparring contest. Who among you has the wherewithal to face this knight? <laughs> Being the stifling vapors of the Black Shore, the low, the low road to the nest of Trieste passed through razor sharp sands. The land beyond the Sea of Solace extrudes from the ocean on a bed of black glass. Glass? Whoa. Make this perfect time for quick jousting competition, Sir Gilman says. He just needs a partner. One of your companions steps forward. Oh, can I fight with you? I'd like to fight with you. At this, Sir Gilman launches into a litany of instruction, detailing the specific methods of Sea Dominion ceremonial combat. At last, the two competi competitors take their positions and then rush towards one another. They collide, then fail, flail away, trading blow for blow. It all seems rather senseless. And when at last they stop and catch their breath, Sir Gilman approaches you. This night would have you to choose the fix of this battle, Master Reader. Who prevailed? You have no idea how to evaluate what you just saw, but think it best to humor them. Uh, yeah, this is, <laughs> I, I, I bet if I, whoever I say is the winner gets a stat boost and I kind of want Gary to get the stat boost, but let's role play a little bit. <laughs> You're both winners to be a perfect tie. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, did I stuff up? Indeed! Oh thank god, a most wise estimation like always. Gary congratulates him on an honorable fight. Yes! Awesome! Salute the Jousters. Oh, awesome. Gilman, please, I, I, before I spoke to you the first time, I had something on my mind and it won't come back. So Gilman is fuming in anger over something so much so that you're hesitant to approach him, but you approach him anyways. Exile is too light a sentence for this night. <laughs> what? He notices you then and sees that he begins acting rather nonchalant as though his outburst did not just transpire. Oh, greetings to you, noble master reader. What brings you to this night this afternoon? Uh, He's attempting to make small talk. Let's uh, humor him. For a second. Why don't we? You maintain a gentle tone with him and ask whether there is something he might wish to discuss. So Gilman could perhaps benefit uh, talking through his woes. He stands there for a time, silent and dejected, but then he's going to tell me his backstory. Master Rita, this knight cannot escape the horrors of his past. It seems that you you would hear them then. You have this knight's apologies ahead of time for burdening you further with his troubles. Having said that, here then are the troubles you requested. <laughs> oh man. You are of course familiar with the siege of the spiral sanctum. The burnt down remains of the old capital of the Commonwealth. I have never seen this. The remains stand as a warning to those who would seek to spread forbidden knowledge. For this night, the memory of it is like a wound which will not close. The knight stood there on the front lines while the high wing remnants descended upon us. So furious was their assault that our chain of command was ruptured instantly. We of the Sea Dominion, we require orders to perform our duty. Without such orders, why, we surely made a very, very easy target that eve. One by one, then two by two, they picked us off becoming bolder, some of them shrieking with laughter all the while. This night, he saw his comrades cast aside like sea flies. How this knight survived, he does not know for certain even now. Perhaps it was that he attempted to pursue and to detain his own knight commander whom you met when you first met this knight, that cursed Sir Deluge. If not for his craven cowardice, the spiral sanctum, it might have held at least a while longer. Oh my god. But instead we were routed, rendered spineless, both in form and deed. So Deluge was first to turn and flee as our chain of command crumbled. And as for this knight, he failed to catch his knight commander, he must have looked a coward too. Thus came the time for penance, and this knight, why he insisted only on the course of action reasonable, he insisted on the sentence to the downside. And as you can plainly see, his wish was then fulfilled. How absurd that he should re-encounter his old knight commander here soon after. Thus did this knight become obliged once more to Sir Deluge. 
We took to the waters in the Sea of Solace where soon we met the Pie Hearts, a triumvirate exclusive to our kind. It was plain to see that they lacked wherewithal, and so Deluge, they thought he could provide it, the leadership they sought, and his was too much of a coward to decline. Huh. So the Pie Hearts are exclusively worms. That's good news. I know who to fight when, I'm, when I want an easy fight. As for this knight being the Sea Dominion, he had little choice but to comply, or so at the first he thought. When this night, when he counted you and the Nightwing, something awakened within him. With so little honor left to lose and so much left to gain, it became imminently clear that this knight stood a better chance within your ranks than those of Sir Deluge. And there is little left to say, this knight cannot escape his past and yet he chooses to believe that he was spared that day, not merely by coincidence. Perhaps under King Ori's yet has plans in store in which this knight may play a part. Man, this is so uplifting! This knight, he clings, however vainly, to that hope. Okay, maybe not so much. He slithers away, his head bowed low. It seems best to leave him for now. He says he feels relieved at having shared all this. Yeah, dude, totally. I'm, I'm rereading that. I'm... Let's see. Knight Errant of the Sea Dominion, uh, where he became frontline fighter. Uh, in this, he fared much better than most of his kind until the disastrous siege. As one of the sole survivors of the incident, he accepted full responsibility for the outcome and volunteered to go into exile as penance for his failure. He's a Scorpus, born on the 3rd of the 11th moon. The 11th moon? Like 11? <laughs> oh! Oh! This is old language. This is... <gasps> okay, hear me out. The old language, the, the language that the Book of Rites is written in, these characters, they speak in some language called Sarian. The Book of Rites is written in English. So we can actually read the Book of Rites. These characters can't because they speak um, Sarian. We as player characters, we can actually read English. So we can read the Book of Rites. That's the... It's really smart. So I'm guessing these astral signs are signs from the olden times when English was presumably the big language, or well, the main language. And and I guess the old language, the old tongue. So the 11th moon is the 11th moon. So the 11th month. He's a scorp... Uh, he's a... Someone, Google this for me. Is the, the scorpion... What, what's it called? The scorpion astral sign in real world, not pyre? Is that the 11th month? Is that November? If you're born in November? I, this is awesome. I'm really... This excites me. Anyways. Crime? None. <laughs> wow. It, wow. He survived the siege of Spiral Sanctum, though technically did no wrong. Uh, motive? The record said he volunteered for exile after the shameful outcome of the battle, and he's been down for three years. I've never seen a nun. Astral sign is Verdan. 31st of the 8th moon, so uh, what's the, the 8th? Is it? No, it's not October, that's that's dumb. It's before September. August, it's August. <laughs> 31st of August. Um, Verdun. What's the, what's the real star sign of that? Anyways, I'm wasting my time. Speak to me, I love you. <laughs> Please. I will one day remember remember the the timing of her uh, I mean the frequency at which she speaks yeah let's go against old Delbert old heart I think the stars will stay the same oh hey hello messenger imp with news and rumors from the other side manages to track down your wagon in the razor brambles of black basin the eight scribes first discovered this the northern landmass of the downside oh okay Okay, black glass, searing vapor, and strangling forests mark the forsaken land that looms across the sea. The imp's latest information is about none other than Tito, who you liberated at the fall of Seliam. Everybody says he is the first creature of his kind to come to the Commonwealth. While this unique status brought Tizo no shortage of prestige, he nonetheless experienced difficulty acclimating to the new environment. It seems that he grew quite despondent. Then at last he managed to track down Volfrin's agents, with whom he is working to find a, mean to bring, a means to bring more exiles home. Thus has the revolution grown stronger. Uh, he also left for you a special verbal message by his most trusted messenger, who reads up his head and in turn screechy hee hee Tizo wants you to know he is doing well, but misses you and hopes to see you again. I want the music to play. You thank the messenger in for the report and ask that it relay your kind regards, your companions do to begin talk in turn. I love the music. Good on him. If anyone or anything can change the Commonwealth, it may well be Tizo. Oft it is thought said that good endings, good things come in smallish packages, and Tizo stood as living proof. And living he remains, apparently. Why that lucky little... Okay, sure, I'm a little jealous of him, so... <laughs> I'm happy for him. I wish I could have had a friend like him when I was there. 
I guess this makes him an expatriate of sorts, ditching his downside home in favour of the Commonwealth. Who would have thought? Truly, once more, it seems I underestimate him and his resilience. I just remembered what I wanted to say ages ago. I shall look forward to him. Uh, look forward to our next reunion, Tizo, perhaps when we are back among the stars. Who should I send next, do you think? The new Tizo's adventures in the Commonwealth fills you and your fellow exiles with newfound resolve. Plus one hope! Dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Uh, I was going to say, now, from this point onwards, the story doesn't focus on the original trio any longer. So it doesn't really focus on Hedwin, Ruki, or Judariel so much anymore. So feel free to get rid of them if you want. Uh, of course, we're approaching the 20 minute mark, which means about to end the episode. Look, I'm gonna... <sighs> why, why won't you speak to me? This hurts my feelings. Why would you let me love you? Anything worthwhile getting from him. Hey guys, say I noticed your little imp pal. He ain't with you anymore. Is he okay? I heard the one thing that he somehow got out of here back to the other side. And I'm like, why would an imp want that? I'm trying to imitate him. I might actually buy some Stardust and upgrade. Upgrade the... First off, sell this for four gold. Okay. Um... These star serums are probably really powerful, but I would rather... Plus three, raises them up to plus five, and this one raises them up to plus 20, yeah. You know, yeah, let me buy some of the cheap stuff. One, uh, proceed, two... Yeah, look, if I hold shift, will it do it quicker for me? Okay. Leave it at that. Thank you very much, Falcon Ron. You're my favorite customers I had all week. With a question mark. Let me just very quickly stop by here. Who had... It was gay. If I upgrade it... Whoa, hold on. I can't... I can't upgrade it! No! Anyways, that brings an end to this episode. I'll work this out in post. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate your viewership. Stay tuned. Going to be a lot more pie coming in the future. But until then, see you next time.